we asked you, what are your skincare concerns? What's your biggest problem? And I'm gonna be answering those questions and that's coming up next. Welcome back. Christine Beyer here, licensed esthetician for 21 years. And this channel is about your skincare journey. It's never one thing that makes your skin look better. It's a combination of things because we're all different and we all have different needs. So I was asking about those and I'm going to answer those now. This first one comes from Bee Buzz and it says regarding fascia, you have a tool that you use over the skin really lightly, just grazing, I guess. I've got two concerns. How do we know how much pressure to use and can we massage muscles below separately? I feel it's a totally different thing. Um, fascias and the skin layers and probably doesn't affect the muscles much, if at all. Muscles, I feel, can create and, and, re and remove some wrinkles and collagen production. And if so, what order do we do both of these in and how long in between procedures slash massages should we wait? Thanks for so much for asking. If you were to cut open the muscle, the cut open the face, you would see the difference between the fatty layer and the muscles and the skin and the hypodermis and all this, right? But, but as far as fascia is concerned, it is interwoven through all of this, right? It is an organ in the body. It was declared an organ, I don't know, last year. And we were geeking out on it saying, oh my God, because it actually can send messages faster than the nervous system. And it's, uh, fascia is really complex. It's so interesting what all it can do. So when we work on fascia, we never know exactly where it's restricted. Now I can go for a place, right? And say, oh, okay, I know, I know there's fascia restriction there. I can see it, but I don't, I don't know how deep it is until I put my fingers on it and I don't know how it's going to release and still, until I start working on it in this star pattern fashion. So typically I like to go and do cross fiber massage. And so the first part of this, she asked about how deep, how hard. And the thing is, because the fascia is this 3D spider web, if we go too deep too soon, which most everybody does, especially if they're using a gua sha tool like the Anma, they'll just go, you know, really deep. You're missing the very superficial fascia that will wrap itself around a wrinkle. And it's really interesting. So anytime you've ever cut yourself, had a breakout, scratched, uh, any, anytime there's ever any memory of some sort of physical trauma, that includes wrinkles from repetitive facial expressions. Fascia will wrap around that, right? And it has memory, it remembers it. So we want to start to release all that. And it is at different levels. So I always tell people, because we want to bring blood to the surface, we start out light, right? We start out lightly. We don't wanna miss that superficial fascia that wraps around that wrinkle. Right? If you have acne scarring, you've got this going on too. So don't, don't poo-poo the light move, right? So I have makeup on my face, so I'm gliding, but I'm also just doing this very lightly. So, and we wanna do a star formation. So I've gone up and down, uh, I've gone sideways. So, you know, anytime you have a wrinkle, you've got tissue coming together like this and so we want to do the cross tissue massage and now I want to do both diagonals so I'm just gonna hold the tissue and yeah you just never know which direction it's going to be restricted so I will look at the face and to me I've been doing this you know what, seven years so I'm really really looking at the fascia it bubbles up to me. Like if it's not relaxed, it will bubble up. The face looks bubbly <laughs> to me where, where the fascia is not relaxed. You can see it. So, so yeah, it's kind of like that microneedling pattern, you know, both vertically, laterally, and then both diagonals. So, and then you'll be able to get that to relax more. So yeah, always go lighter, start to 
bring up that blood supply. You know, when you use a gua sha tool and you use it right, you can bring more natural hyaluronic acid production into the skin. You bring it to the top of the skin. I mean, it's really fascinating how gua sha tools work. And if you use them on the regular, they can really improve the skin. I mean, they can sweep away excess pooling blood. Like if you have a lot of capillary action, you can sweep that away on the regular and get that working better. I mean, it's amazing what a gua sha tool used correctly. And if you do the deep dive and really learn everything the Anma can do, it will be your best friend. Now, just starting out though, if you don't know what to do when you get your Anma, you can simply do a scalp massage because that is going to start to work from the top down. We have so much tension in our scalps. Goodness. I had a client once. Uh, she, she moved away. What are all the good ones? They all move away. She lives in another state and uh, now. So she was a ballroom dancer. That was her hobby. And I guess she would always be looking to see sort of the next move, right? And so she'd be like, you know, listening and trying to see. And so I, I find out what my clients' hobbies and their vocation is because it helps me know, well, I can usually see it on their face, but it helps me know why they have so much tension and where to look, right? So she had all through here, so much tension. I was like, what is going on with your forehead? And then she told me, you know, I was like, oh, that makes sense. And then I've got my Peloton people. They're just like bricks through here and it pulls their face down. And everybody has a story, right? All these faces, they all have stories. So yeah, once you learn how to wield a, your gua sha tool, it will be invaluable to you. And we have to go lighter before we go deeper. The muscle does affect the way the skin looks. If it's tight and not, not pliable, everything on top of it's not going to be looking so great. Stay tuned for part four of your questions answered. That's coming up next Wednesday. Bye now.